Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Miss Von Maxi Reads. I've got a very cute, very fast little story to share with you today. Third grade and second grade did get a sneak peek at it today, but uh, we used it for our third grade lesson for character development, and it is called I'm a Unicorn. So as we are reading the text today, just remember the questions that we ask as we are learning about a character. What is the character thinking? What are they feeling? And what are they doing? And also, what kind of message could we be learning from this art, this text? So here we go. This is a very cute part. I'm a unicorn. It's an interesting looking unicorn. We're gonna find out why he thinks so. See, uni means one and corn means horn. Oh, leaf cheese basing himself on facts based on a text. And he does have one horn. And look, I was born with just one horn. It's a little nubby, yeah, a little nubby nub. He was born this way. I'm magical. It says here, unicorns have hooves. And a very beautiful, oh, why, thank you, and poop rainbows. Rainbow poop coming right up. Got all of his fruits, the colors of the rainbow. He's even got green apples in there. Time to go test the theory. Hmm. Nothing magical coming out there. Maybe unicorns are colorblind? Gonna go do some more research. According to the text, unicorns sparkle in sunshine and twinkle in moonlight. I don't see any sparkles there. And their unicorn manes flow like silk and smell like peach candy. I hold that up. It really doesn't have much of a mane. Some scraggly hair. I wonder what he's thinking. Thought he was a unicorn at first, but now he's got all of this evidence. Unicorn footsteps sprout butterflies and their tears turn into lollipops. Uh-oh, am I not a unicorn? You can see really close. He's got tears welling up in his eyes. So now, we think about the difference between the beginning of the text, especially here when he was feeling magical. So now he's full of self doubt. I like that he's got the book upside down. That's super cute. Oh no. I have no butterflies. My tears aren't lollipops. I'm not a unicorn. His whole identity is just gone. Oh no. Real unicorns. I wonder what they're going to think. So now think about what these beautiful, wonderful unicorns, how majestic they are. He's going to go up to him. He looks so sad. Oh my gosh. He looks sad and embarrassed. All of those character feelings, his actions right now are that he's going up to him. His head is low. Definitely look, doesn't look very confident right now. Excuse me. Um, I think I owe you an apology. You see, all this time I thought I was a unicorn. I've been telling everyone I was a unicorn. And I don't think I'm a unicorn. So now think about what these beautiful, majestic unicorns are going to say. With this lowly one horned bull. Well, how many horns do you have? One. Sounds like a unicorn to me. He's puzzled. He's like, oh. So they seem to think he's a unicorn. But wait, wait. I can't even poop rainbows. 
try this. It always works for us. Give me a special fruit. Notice it was all black. Time to do a science experiment. I'm a unicorn, I'm a unicorn. So we went through different character feelings of super excited at the beginning to a lot of self-doubt, like up to feeling happy and fulfilled again. And what I especially love is that the character, the theme of this, um, it actually is on the, the unicorns. So some of the self, uh, my second graders said it best and that they wanted to include him. So the unicorns could have easily have said, you're not a unicorn, you're a cow with one horn. But instead they were like, you have one horn, you are one of us, you're special too. So it was about including everyone and also believing in yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this little story. This was something that we used in third grade. My second graders got a treat, but feel free to watch it as many times as you want to because you are all a unicorn. Thanks. Have a great day, everyone.